Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I made a huge mistake yesterday. I started cleaning the pool without videoing. <laughs> I want to show you guys uh, the biggest issue I'm opening up the pool the biggest issue I had was dead algae I have a I had a ton of dead algae sitting on the bottom of the pool uh, you know my water up top was clear filters running great the PVC switch over is doing great check out my video for that um, <clears throat> but this floor was covered in dead algae and I started vacuuming yesterday because I was so excited I got my vacuum in the mail and I didn't video it. So I'm gonna video a little bit today, but I'm doing you a huge disjustice by not showing you how bad it looked yesterday compared to where I'm at now. So um, let me show you exactly what I did in my setup. Okay, so basically, like many of you, I'm on a budget constantly, even with my pool. Okay, so, <clears throat> Yes, you can buy an electric vacuum for hundreds of dollars for your above ground pool. That works great. I don't like to spend hundreds of dollars when it comes to my pool. So I bought that for right around 30 bucks. I bought the hose, 24 foot hose for right around 30 bucks. And I bought this little nine inch uh, pool connector. That's about six bucks. I can't remember exactly what I paid. I'm gonna put links in the description for this stuff right here. So basically, you can have a, a complete, if you have an Intex pool or something similar, you can have a complete vacuum setup. Well, you need a pole too. I'll add that. You have to have your own pole because the poles can be expensive. Um, for around 60, 70 bucks, as opposed to hundreds for an automatic vacuum. Me personally, I don't mind hand vacuuming my pool. So what I do is I have the connection here. You put the connection in one end. I unhook my... Intex skimmer here, which works great, as you can see. I have a video on that also. And I just put the hose connection right to here, okay? I shut the other port, I close it off, just like it is there. You come over here, and you turn, yeah, if, if you have a ton of algae in the pool, and you don't want to circulate through the filter, you put it on waste. And waste will run it right out your line here. I'll show you. It's hard to tell, but this is all the, I mean, there's a ton of it. It's in my grass here, uh, right over here too. I mean, th this whole area was just covered in algae, dead algae that I pulled off the bottom of the pool. So let me hook it all up here and I'll show you, give you a sample of what it was like. Now I'm gonna try to do this one handed because my son is not here right now. And I don't know how well it's gonna show up. Basically, you know, and the brush does a lot. This one has bristles on it. So you just kind of, I go slow. I don't go too fast, but it covers a lot of section at one time as you're going. And a lot of this still has to be brushed on the bottom because it's kind of sticking pretty good. But you can see it's picking up. And the best part about it, if you miss a spot that didn't hit the brushes, I just kind of hit it again with the, bristles underneath there the biggest difference with this is it's pushing this crap outside of the pool as opposed to in your filter and then you got to backwash 25 times see look at that that's getting that good so it's not perfect but no no automatic vacuum is perfect either and for the money this is, i used to get in the pool start a suction with a garden hose and get underneath with goggles <laughs> and suck all the sand and dead algae off the bottom and that's just way too much this is so much easier the pool's still kind of cloudy because i brushed it earlier and threw all the dead algae but my pool is balanced now so i'm just going to keep running the filter for a few days and this thing should be crystal clear pretty soon so this worked for me and hopefully it can work for you and you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars 
doing it. You know, I, I've searched YouTube for a long time, watching, you know, videos uh, to vacuum my above ground pool the cheapest way. And really, this is the best thing that I found that works so far uh, without spending a ton of money. And like I said, I'm going to put the links in the description where you can find where I found this stuff. You can find it at your local hardware store. Walmart probably has half of it. But, um, I mean, it, it makes a huge difference pretty quick. So, give it a shot. Well, I kind of did the majority of the pool, except for this section over here. And you can see the difference. The, the water's still pretty cloudy, but that's just, it's cloudy because I brushed it this morning. And there's a lot of sediment still moving around, but that'll all settle. I'm going to keep the filter going for you know, probably 24 hours straight. Like I said, the water's balanced. So it'll clear up real quick, but give it a try. I mean, if you're if you're like me and you run your pool on a budget, chlorine's expensive. Everything else is expensive. So um, for me, it was the the easiest way to get an inexpensive vacuum that works. So basically, you need your vacuum. You need a pole, the hose, <coughs> the connection. Sorry, loud vehicle going by. The connection, which is only about six bucks. <clears throat> there is that little basket on your filter before your water gets to the filter. If you get debris pulled up, you'll just have to clean that out every once in a while and then run a line out to your grass or wherever and dump that nasty water out. Don't put it back in your filter. That's what a lot of people do. And then you have to backwash constantly. So um, in a day or two, this thing will be crystal clear and perfectly bound. So I hope this video helps you. If it did, uh, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate the likes and uh, give my channel a subscribe. Um, got more videos coming out this summer. So again, I got a skimmer video. I got the <clears throat> PVC, your Intex plumbing. Um, that video is really helpful. That was the best thing I've ever done to this pool was that move that cheap tubing, uh, into a heavy duty PVC. So, uh, give it a try. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.